love him. I uh, missed him. I miss him, but more than miss him, I remember him. Well, just hours ago, 10 News tracked down a close friend of the man who died after a tourniquet was removed from his bleeding leg at the orders of a 911 dispatcher. That dispatcher's instructions are now being reviewed. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is in Escondido tonight where the victim was an active member of the community. People who knew Scott Winterbottom are just devastated that it was he who was killed in that horrific crash. People tell me that he lived here in Escondido for several years and he was well known at Faith Harbor Church. I, I love him. I uh, missed him. I miss him, but more than miss him, I remember him. Bob Beck says he was a close friend of 49 year old Scott Winterbottom. The medical examiner identified Winterbottom as the pedestrian killed when he was hit by a speeding motorcycle while crossing Palm Avenue in Egger Highlands Monday afternoon. Everybody loved him, everybody in shock, shock about it. And when folks find out now about the tourniquet deal, just the idea of the, the bike hitting him was enough for an uproar. Fire medical 356, what is the address of the emergency? Winterbottom's leg was severed in the crash. Good Samaritans tried to stop the bleeding by putting a tourniquet on it. Okay. All right, so they put a tourniquet on his leg? Uh, no. Oh, okay. uh, a belt. No. They wrapped the belt around because okay. his leg is chopped off. Okay. We need to take that belt off. We don't want to tourniquet it. Take the belt off, she said. Okay, take it off. Say, Give me one second, okay? Let me pull up the instructions here. Okay, they're on the way. San Diego Fire Chief sent out this statement regarding the incident, which says the department is reviewing the case and, as the fire chief, I have confidence in the ability of our dispatchers to handle emergencies efficiently, professionally, and appropriately, and I want the public to be assured you can have that same confidence. Emily Valdez, 10 News.